Hey guys, Kevin here. Let's take a look at the basics of forms and fields inside of TypeRocket for WordPress. Now, the first thing that we need to think about when we consider forms and fields is the fact that we're just trying to create HTML markup that will automatically generate the values that we've stored in the database and put those into the HTML for us so we don't have to write all of this kind of crazy markup when we write our code. And then all the crazy and confusing custom PHP that might be needed to, for example, detect the values that we want to go inside of those input fields. And with this in mind, it really gives us insight into what TypeRocket's trying to do. So TypeRocket wants to simplify that process for us so we only have to echo out the specific markup that we need for the page. For example, we might need opening and closing HTML tags. And in some contexts, we might not. For example, on a custom post type or taxonomy or comment or user profile within WordPress, when we insert custom fields into the page, that page already has an open and close form field tags. So we really don't need to generate those. And that's the point. TypeRocket kind of helps us facilitate making all of this HTML very easily and then connects it to the database. And it does that using a model system, which we'll have other videos about, but this is mainly about just how TypeRocket is thinking about your HTML forms. And the way it does this is we just need to call a function called trform, and that creates a form object. And then within that form object, we can have access to specific fields connected to it. So in this example, we have a form that's HTML. And then inside of that form, we have these labels and input fields. And that's what TypeRocket's doing here. It's giving us a form, and then we can echo out the parts of that form, the bits of HTML contained within it, whether the opening, closing, or containing pieces onto the page. And so within the context of a post type, for example, we only need to pump out or echo out the input pieces of the form. We don't need these opening and closing tags. So that's what we're doing here. And the same goes for taxonomies. Here we have a taxonomy with an image field. We have a meta box that's been added to the comment screen and that's using a form and echoing out text. User profiles using a hook for the edit and create screen for user profile and then for a dashboard widget. And you'll see here what I'm talking about. Here we echo out a close and an open tag for the form. And that's because when we create a dashboard widget, the dashboard page does not have an overall containing form element. So we need to echo those pieces of HTML out to the page. And so here you can kind of get a bigger picture of what we're doing. And that's really it. That's all you need to know to get started with the basics of forms inside of TypeRocket. As we move forward, we'll look at the more complex bits. For example, the different arguments that you can pass to the actual TR form function to connect it to different models and that kind of thing. And then to wrap up, I just want to show you the different places inside of TypeRocket that we looked at here in code on the dashboard and within the admin of WordPress. So here's our widget for the dashboard. Go to comments, hit edit. Here's our meta box on the comment. Go to users, user profile, scroll down quickly. Custom fields there. Book post type, edit that. Custom fields here. Publisher, we have custom fields here. And so in the next videos, we'll look at all of the other bits, the custom fields, the different types in more detail.